died. We died. <laughs> we died, and I had to switch phones. Um, I don't know why. Okay, so I was saying, see if everybody joins. Okay, so we got the Angora join. Somebody gave us a scale review re thing. A gram scale. They talked to their crack dealer. They talked to the crack dealer or something. Friends. Okay, you know, so okay, in our there phone, are people out there who have friends that are into that world. Okay. We just don't have those friends right so now. We, uh, there's more on the table. It's like hiding. Okay, so I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted by the phone, okay, this please. fiber has 50% guard hair and 50% under wool, but it has a really long guard hair. I need you to please. Thank you. Basis. You, could you keep that poodle off that chair again? Yep. Okay. Over and over and over again so, because that's how I spark joy today. So this is a really long guard here. You can see how long it is. This is correct French, but it's soft and it will spin soft. out balanced. What do I do with my yarn? Okay. So I put these two yarns together for a talk that I did for a judges conference. And this is really cool to me. I think it's really cool. Like, I may never be able to sell the ugly yarn now. Okay, so this is Harry Ooh. French Spun. Okay. This is Harry French Spun. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, we check everything when we do this. And then this is Correct French Spun. You can see there's a halo. When we talk about halo and spinning, you'll hear halo a lot. Halo is actually legitimately a, a a light layer this is hair this <laughs> is halo hair halo hair halo so when we pick angora coats if you see co and you see somebody like that well this is really good french that's not really good french okay this is correct french it still has a halo. You can see it. It'll pop you can feel more it. as it and gets... it gets as it gets worked with. It will get the halo will grow and grow and grow, but it's not a hair type. Is what I think we should just use this French. You think so? Yep. You sure? What about this French? No, that's no. no. This is French. Okay. We're gonna give them the correct French. Neither Danielle or I are that fond of French. I don't want to spin this wool. But it does, it will spin as correct French. Clearly we did a really bad job screwing it. Because uh, it, it got is, a blue ribbon and was like on the best of show table. It was. Because it was a whole fleece. All Angora will have some halo. English Angora will have the least amount of halo because it has the finest diameter guard hair. Satin Angora should actually have a finer halo. Um, and then Giant and then finally French will have the most halo. So when you are picking Angora for a project, if you want a lot of halo because you really want that fuzzy look, you're going to want to go with a French or a Giant, um, most likely a French. Um, and then it kind of goes from there. With. You count your cards out. I did count my cards out. I just haven't labeled them. Why is this hat and go on a back? There was still one there. One over there. Um, it is one of the hallmarks, but there's, like I say, there's a big difference between Harry and Halo. Um, the other, there's other, and you'll get Halo, like, we a lot of times, I keep French around when we do our roving runs. Um, we a lot of times will add some of the older French that might have an unbalanced coat because of where they're at in the cycle to our roving because it gives our roving more halo. But we also balance that with an English so that we have proper undercoat. In well, and like this has proper, really good undercoat. Right, but I'm saying yeah. when we make our mill runs, right, um, we might have rabbits that have coats that are off, so we have one that doesn't have as much mm -hmm. undercoat as it should. And it goes into the mill run with, like, like I'm saying, English, so that there mm -hmm. is the undercoat to carry that hair through mm -hmm. and balance it instead of it being just straight hair. I very rarely spin French alone. Like, I do, I actually am spinning some now that I really like. 
on, but it's one doe. I have one doe in my barn that I love her coat. And I can pull her coat anytime, shear her, and spin it. And it, she has such a perfectly balanced coat. And her crimp structure is so good. On um, French Angoras, a lot of people will also say that they are a plucking breed. We do not pluck any of our rabbits because it is too hard to time your plucking. And we, while plucking in and of itself is not cruel, it is very easy to do it incorrectly. So you kind of have... And inevitably, they'd molt like this week. And we don't have time this week to pluck a rabbit. Right. So then either it goes all over your cage. Or inside of the rabbit. Right. Or it felts. On the rabbit. None of which are ideal. And it takes a week to properly mm -hmm. pluck a rabbit. Because... Or longer. Or longer. It depends on how fast mm -hmm. they're going to molt. You cannot pluck a rabbit. You should never pluck a rabbit bald. They do not, they don't release like that. They always have new coat that comes in. The root of the problem, the root, <clears throat> ha, ha. ha ha. The root ha. of the problem is that angoras and rabbits have very, any prey animal has a looser, rooted Fall hair. It. Because that is their first line of defense. If something grabs a mouthful of the animal as they are running through the woods, that hair comes out. Um, and so you have that loosely rooted hair, so it just feels like it's coming out on its own, but in reality, it's because of it's the loose rooted, it's not ready to come out yet. And that's a problem with any, any animal that has that. Um, it's, and, and I know a lot of people compare it to cats. Or dogs, dog cats, shedding. Cats have fur. They don't mm -hmm. really have, it's completely different and it's rooted differently and cats don't molt the same way that rabbits do. No. And dogs, dogs do, but not really. Not really. They're a seasonal. And also dogs, again, have a different coat. If I went over here and grabbed one of the Shelties and aggressively brushed it, when it is not shedding, the coat's not going to come out. Right. If I aggressively brushed a rabbit, it will come it out. It will come out no matter what I do to it. So we just don't do it. We we clip them off when we want their coats, and it keeps them healthier. And there's no questions on what's going on, on, um, and it's much easier and faster. It's much faster for everybody. Oh, so much faster. We're talking like five minutes versus fifty. Yep. And. I don't know about you guys, but sitting at the salon for hours on end is really boring. That's why we go together in like a group activity. With our phones fully charged and we mock each other. Right. Exactly. <clears throat> because it's hard. Right, and then the lady sticks us under the thing. The heater vent for hours. The head thing. Hours. Like the old ladies. Thing. You can't hear anything when you're under there. Right? And then it feels like you're all alone. Yep. Because and, you are. And your eyes are burning. That's only when there's ammonia on your head. Or bleach, I guess you just <laughs> call it. Don't mix those two. <laughs> nope. On your head, that would be really Feels bad. like ammonia in your <laughs> eyes. Burns. Yeah. So we've got new wheels coming with us to Black Sheep. We've got new yarn. We've got new roving. Like um, if you have been on the fence about purchasing yourself a new present, a present wheel. That's um, when to do it because we have show specials for all of this stuff. Yes. Also because we don't want to take it home. And um, we cannot advertise any special. So you have to come to our booth. And see what we're doing. That's part of our like dealer rules. Mm hmm. And we have um. What was I gonna say now? I was gonna say something about that. Mm hmm. No. Um. Huh. We can I tell guess. you what we have. What we we have a new Kromsky Fantasia still in the box, unfinished. Yep. In the box. Just we got it in. We have a 
Kromsky Sonata in clear finish in stock. We have a Kromsky Symphony. Nobody better buy my symphony. Um, Somebody come buy the symphony. It has a stool, spinning stool that will be with us that matches. It's an or mahogany one. Mahogany. We have a walnut um, minstrel, which now has its own carrying bag and its own everything on um, jumbo flyer and everything. So it's like a whole minstrel set up. You're right. Like, like a everything. set up. Um, we have a little tiny prelude that's painted blue. Brandy. Her name's Brandy. She's a fine girl. She lives by the sea. Mm -hmm. She might be a little argumentative at times. But she's here. And she goes with us. Yep. Uh, we have um, a Mazacraft Aura. And we have a Mazacraft Rose in for you to try. The Aura can go home. The Rose cannot. No, the Rose is mine. Um, I'm kind of attached to her. And plus, you'd want your own rose because mine has scratches on it now. Yes, because they travel. Uh huh. Yeah, Shelly's getting us new sheep. Well, we're at black sheep. Is she? Something. I think so. You know, she could have skipped the sheep and bought a plane ticket instead. She could have. And then we could have all the sheep. She's like, uh, no. She's like, nope, nope. I did that one year, and you guys maybe stay up till five in the morning when you're roving. We could do it again. It would be fun. It would be like a party. It's like a tradition. Yeah. Like really, that's what it is. It's a tradition. Um. So we got all sorts of fun stuff. We've got knitting naughties. We've got hand carters. We've got new little spindle kits. Spindle I put kits. one of those together. That's cute. And knitting naughties. It's so cute. It is really cute. Like I kind of want one of the knitting naughties. We don't get one. I know we don't get one. It's against the rules. There's a lot of rules in our life that are unfair. So, yeah, we've got lots of fun stuff planned. Um, we'll be there having fun. The shop will be open if you guys are coming to um, here for the 4th of July. We are closed on the 4th of July. We are open the rest of the days. Um, we, need to take, we will be taking a stamp with us. Yes, so, we cannot stamp. We cannot pearly shell stamp your passport. If you are doing the slow yarn crawl. However, we can stamp if you guys come and spin in public or knit in public in our booth. Isn't there one for a fiber festival on there? I, I thought we could find festival. it. I don't know. We're going to look. We are going to re-look. We're going to re-look. But because we will, yep. Yeah. Because we'll stamp your We have things. a 16-inch Presto Loom now too, Shelly. It's really cool. It's not put together. No. We didn't do that one. It's heavy. And the looms will be warped for people to use. Yes. So come so by and weave badly it. with us. Yep. Or weave goodly. Right. You know, if you have like weaving tips and you like, because if, you took a class. Or you sought knowledge. Because we have done neither. <laughs> I okay, there was a little I YouTube books and some YouTube knowledge sought. We we did the knowledge seeking. Yeah, and we looked at we watched all the Kromsky videos. They have really good ones. We made things; they didn't fall apart. Nope. I mean, I think that's winning overall. I mean, overall, I think weaving takes just more practice than we put into it. What do you think? Um, I think a class would probably be good, and I think that the people that probably say that there's a lot of math in it are probably correct, but we just ignore them because we just say they're wrong. So you can come leave badly with us or goodly, and you yeah. can bring us some knowledge. Uh-huh. Add to our knowledge base. Maybe somebody's taught you a really fancy trick. Right. Like, you know, put your hydro flask on mm. your... Strings. Strings. That's what I we call break them. It up. Yep, because oh, Christ! There was going to be some foul language. Okay, if it's in the scales at negative five grams, and I put the wool in it, and it weighs zero grams, I am going to call that five grams. Looks like the same amount as all the other bags. See all the little bags. And uh, Jan's class, I think, is on Saturday. I have to double check it, but I don't look. And it will be fun because she gets to spin all the yarn. Cool. She'll even teach you how to do it, like I don't know, on supportive spindles and stuff. 
Is, she, is this her supported spindle no. class? No. This is on Angora. There we go. This is on Angora. This goes with that. And it needs to go in a happy home. Mm. My foot's asleep. I can't move. I like was leaning on it weird. Is it the one that's under you? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't the one I'm poking? Mm -hmm. It's numb. <laughs> it's like num num. How many are we short? Three? Yes. And then this looks like French. Well, let's look at it and figure out what it was. Or is oh. this that German? I don't know. I can't. It has <laughs> guard hair. Okay, hey, some of these breeds are a lot alike. It's not German. There's color to it. Oops, did I say that out loud? This is French. Okay. We don't have any Germans either. I used to have them. Mine all matted. Except for one at 91 Did you know days. that Angoras were the were one of the concentration camps projects of, <laughs> in Germany? In Germany? Mm -hmm. They were because they used them to line the um, the Angora is eight times warmer than wool, and they used it to line the and the the cuffs and the um, hoods of the. Um, Nazi outfits. Nazi outfits for the flying. The ones that went in the air. The kamikaze flying. flyers? No, the kamikaze is Japanese. Right. I don't think they gave them. No, no. I think the Japanese got like lied to in that whole scenario. I don't know. We weren't there. But anyway. I'm going to claim they did. But <laughs> they, they, I think they had to volunteer. Um. So anyway, they did that and it was kind of that's where the German Angora came from. Kind of, sort of. Because they were kind of a resurgence thing. Later. Um, where, right after we decided we were going to where the forget French, the awful things that happened in Germany. and Pilots, yes. They're pilots. We knew the name. We just didn't say the name. So, then we did... Um, in France, the, so rumor has it that Marie Antoinette had an angora with her that went with her to the um guillotine what <laughs> i'm dead serious did they chop its head off too no one seems to know it kind of bothers me <laughs> like she had a pet french angora they say because they were royalty animals they were kind of like the, the novelty you know rabbits don't really like blood they kind of think that that's <laughs> well, barbaric. It was maybe it was an English and it was dumb enough to do that. I don't know, but it was a French angora and, or, or the type of French angora. And that's rumor has I found like three sources that said that, that too, which is like really enough. weird. I'm adding more because it felt wrong. That that there would be that many sources of it. Okay. That's so all then, of those tags. We just did all four breeds. And in English Angoras, in England, it was a penalty by death to smuggle them out of the country. Or to have them if you were not royalty. Which is kind of cool. Um, they, were all, they were all owned by the crown, just like the sheep were. I know, I don't know where those two bags came from. And we used up all the tags, I think we made to it. Right on them. Well, then we'll have too many satin angoras. And we'll be like, where are these two extra bags of satin angora came from? We'll throw them at people. We will not throw them at people. Or if you buy a spinning wheel. <laughs> what? You're just like giving away. The, buy a spinning wheel. Buy get a spinning angora. wheel. You get some angora. We can arrange that. Good. <clears throat> Especially now that we have two extra bags. We have it's a lot of half. angora. Uh -huh. So it's kind of cool. Angoras have a really long history. They're one of the oldest breed types of rabbits. Um, Everything else was just a rabbit. Right. Pretty much. It was Angoras, lops, and rabbits is right? basically what it was. And hares. Which well, were the not Belgian, but the Belgian hares hair. didn't even come around to like the... like. Right. And no, I'm not saying yeah. Belgian hare. I'm saying hares. Like mm -hmm. actual Hair, yeah. hares. Yeah, it's um, kind of interesting how old they are. Yeah. Then there was... Then the Rex. Right. Then they developed Rex, which are also a... You could spin that. 
It's crimpy. It is. It's like a half inch long. It would spin like cashmere. It would. I learned all sorts about things about Rex the day that we went to the thing, the rabbit show. So, yeah. All right. So we are done. We are going to clean up and go on to our next project. Who knows what we will be? But we're going to do a carding demo tomorrow on making roll eggs out of Angora. Because so, that sounds like fun. It does. So stay tuned for that. And we will be back then. Bye, guys.